Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. Welcome back to Virtual Last Word. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. I guess. Remain it's until Ambidex game polling closes. Monday fun day. Last episode, we got through the pantry. Ugh. Took us like over an hour, but it's fine. The gate's been opened. One of the other teams must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Well, we can fix that. Come on, let's get moving. Just then. Has anyone seen Quark? Yeah, right. Whoa. Did you two just get back? Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Bai, and Dio. Huh? Wait. You guys went through the green door, didn't you? Then why the hell did you come out of the blue one? There's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? Quark? No, we haven't seen him. Something happened? He's gone. gone. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. So they found the Treatment Center. We found our key cards and left. But on our way out, he just disappeared. So you went through the blue door to see if he'd gone in there. No, that's not it. Look at this map. Oh my god. Went all the way around. Yeah. You know, there need to be some colors on this map. Like, besides just the chromatic doors to, like, help designate things. Yeah. Ooh. So you go through the green door and the treatment center, and eventually you end up at the blue door. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. In any event, we've spent some time searching, but have been unable to locate Quark. Huh. Well, maybe it went back to the other floor already. That is a possibility. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. I'll come with you then. We've got a better chance at finding him with two pairs of eyes. Right. Thanks. Sorry about all this. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Me too. Then we'll leave floor A to you guys. Right. Let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. Temmy OG and I headed through the blue door. While Alice, Clover, and Kay climbed in the elevator. So Kay will be the one who gets to yell at Dio this time? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Pick. the PEC. We haven't been here in a while. Which one's the PEC? The... This oh, one. yeah! I forgot what it's called. Chamber... P physical extraction chamber? <laughs> <laughs> What is this place? Yeah, it looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. Pressure exchange chamber. Yeah, that's what it is. So these things keep you from getting sick. Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. Oh, so Luna Fi and Dia went through the PEC. Yeah. Weird. Hmm. So nobody went to the rec room. Nobody went to uh, the Golem Bay. Hey, there's another room underneath. Let's have a look then. Damn, he's not here. Oh, Quark, where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him. If I'd just been watching. Temioji's face was drawn, and the knuckles of his fist were white. He was an old man, but until then I hadn't realized how old. Suddenly, he looked very, very tired. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find him. Come on, let's go try somewhere else. Put a gentle hand on his shoulder and guided him toward the exit. Now we're gonna see the white doors. Yeah. The ninth lion ate the sun. So this is the floor B warehouse, huh? It looks just like the other one. It's pretty close. I'll give you that. A couple differences though. 
Have a look over there. The doors are shining? No way. Yeah, the doors are white? Oh, Ooh. that must be about that's for the next round. Are these chromatic doors? Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. I guess they're all white doors this time. We should go no, tell the- first we look for Quark. But... Look, I don't think he's here. We just say we head back to 4A for now. Maybe somebody else has already found him. Alright, let's go. Quark didn't have, like, a... breakdown or anything in this route. Mm -mm. Interesting. I want to know why he disappears before he, like, freaks out about anything. Yeah. Well, I think this is the first time it's happened. No, this has happened a couple of times. No, like, I think it's the first time he's gone missing before having a Radical Six episode. Oh, I thought he went missing last time. Well, in the in the other ones of parts of Luna's route, he waited until he got right before he went through the chromatic doors to act all weird. Mm. But we never saw him do that this time. Interesting. Dio. Oh, it's just you. I'm guessing you haven't found Quark? I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cut, so to speak. What? Well, that's what ruminants do, isn't it? Hey! This is no time for jokes. You should be out there looking for him, too. Uh... Why would I do that? It sounds so boring. Aren't you worried about him? How the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. He could be hiding in some swank little cubbyhole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> That's insane! Yeah, there's... What, there's no way? Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenmyoji. I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard told you. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. He wouldn't anyway. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> the air grew thick with tension, and before their tempers managed to set it alight, Five burst into the room. Sigma. Good. You've got Tenmyoji and Dio with you. We found something. Come on, all of you. Something happened? Just... you'll understand when you get there, all right? Now come on! Uh, where are we going? The crew quarters. Already? Seems pretty fast. Okay. Well, the, it was it was always before the AB game, so I guess this is right on time. Just feels quick. Yeah. Alright, Alice or Luna? Guess it's Alice. It's always in door two. I know, I like it. There she is. Oh, it's both of them! With the gun! And the knife no. in the chest. What in the world? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off! Yeah, we know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> There's a roaring in my ears. Breathing? Heartbeat? My footsteps sound muffled. As if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. The skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Luna was the same. They're... they're dead. Both of them. By then, everyone had arrived, cramming themselves into the small cabin. Nobody spoke. Silence filled the room, flowing into my ears and throat like cold, brackish water. A chill shuddered its way through my body. I stood there, frozen, staring at them. I'd seen a corpse before, when we discovered the old woman. But this was different. The old woman had always been dead, at least to me, but Alice and Luna I had known. They'd been living, breathing people less than an hour ago. 
Reality settled around my shoulders like a thick lead blanket. And my chest felt suddenly hollow. Who, who found them? My throat felt dry as I spoke. It was a full minute before someone answered. Clover, I think. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the A-B game, didn't you? It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed. None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna, too. She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in, too, so she wouldn't rat you out. Stop it, Dio. Now the A-B game is a motive, too. What do you mean? Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. It was Luna's opponent. Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. <laughs> Why the hell would I do something like that? Pay attention next time. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AB game. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. I am as well. What do you mean by her condition? Her clothes are barely disturbed. If it weren't for the knife and, uh, blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping? If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? That is a little strange. But a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems like a time for a nap. She was probably put to sleep then. What? How? Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? Oh. Yeah. That white gas. So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? Yeah. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. Nah, that's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. All right, then why'd he disappear? There, there must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. Well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. Dia, knock it off. That's going too far. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Alright, time to head for the AB rooms, guys. Come on, we've got more important things to worry about. Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now, your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose betray... Clover would get three points. Bringing her to nine. Well, hold on there. I didn't say anything about not voting. Oh, so you are going to vote? Well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one on one fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. 
Huh, this is definitely getting interesting. Right. We should get to the Flore warehouse, guys. Come on. We're gonna vote. We gotta vote. I mean, clearly we need to pick Betray. <laughs> hey, Clover, can you choose Ally? We'll be stuck at six points if we both choose Betray. But if we both cooperate, we have two points, and then we'll have eight. That means it'll be pretty easy for us to get nine in the next round. Clover? Yeah? I said I want you to choose Ally. Okay. You'll choose Ally too, right? Of course. She gave me a strange sort of absent nod. Turned to shuffle into the closest AB room. I wasn't sure if she'd actually understood me, but given the effect that Alice's death was having on her, I didn't think there was much else I could have done. I was preparing to enter an AB room of my own when I heard Fi's voice at my elbow and turned. Sigma, we need to talk. Oh, hey Fi. Something up? How are you planning to vote? I was just talking to Clover about that. We're planning to both vote ally. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round, her vote will default to Ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. You and Dio are gonna choose Betray? Luna's only got 1 BP left, but she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like it can make her any deader anyway. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Wait. You mean you're planning to escape? Of course. If you don't come with us, you're going to be stuck here for the rest of your life. Why? If you just wait until everyone's got 9 BP. I can't do that. You really think Dio's going to stick around once he's got enough points to split? You got to make a choice here. The number nine door is only going to open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have eight points. I promise you Dio's going to make a break for it as soon as he can. If you want to have any chance of getting out, you need those three points. Now. So if I want to get out, I have to betray Clover. Right. Why are you telling me this? How do I know you didn't just tell Clover the same thing? Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. The truth is, I want you to come with me. Why? I just... know that you're important, somehow. Hmm. You just know, huh? Did you tell Kay? He's got six points right now too, you know. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. So if he chooses ally, he's going to get penalized. Exactly. One minute remains until Abadex game What a mess! What a mess, what a mess! It's almost time. What you gonna do? What a mess. Remember what I said. You have to choose betray. She looked me in the eye until I nodded then turn and jog to her door. I mean, Clover's going to betray. You think so? Yeah. So you want to betray? Yeah. Do you think it'd be better to ally first and then betray? You do whatever you want. Let's betray. You, you're always the picker of the things. Is Clover really going to choose ally? No. She does. Then all I have to do is choose Betray, and I'm out of here. No, I promised I'd choose Ally, so that's what I'm gonna do. But Dio's almost certainly going to have 9 BP after this round. If he gets out, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. 10 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. 9, 8, 7. Damn it. What the hell am I supposed to do? 3, 2, 
He would be dead every single time. So you want to choose Betray, but yeah. you think Clover's going to also pick Betray. Yes. Either way, we're stuck. Let's do it. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank we know. you for your participation. Ambidex game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you think yeah. we're just each gonna betray each other and then find Dia, we're gonna walk out the door? Yeah. The door ground open and I stepped out. All around me, other A B rooms were disgorging their occupants. Ew. Disgorging. Ew. That's Wait. visceral. Dio. Bai's voice echoed hollowly across the room. I followed her eyes to the number nine door. And to Dio. He's not even waiting for the results. Dio. No. I shook my head. I had to get to that door. No, he's going to try and open it. Damn right I am. But the results! <laughs> like I need to wait for that. Ah, Dio's BP was at six. His opponent was Luna, and she is, well, she is as she is. Yeah. Her vote would have defaulted to ally. All he had to do was pick Betray. And he'd have nine points, right? Excellent answer. I hope you remember to show your work. But. Bai was Dio's partner. And her BP was the same as Dio's. That means she has nine now as well. Exactly. It was nine the moment we stepped out of the AB room. Why? Why didn't you stop Dio from choosing Betray? You got the wrong idea, old man. This wasn't just my decision. We both decided to vote this way. Is that true? Yeah. I didn't have a choice. You didn't? Because of you, Luna's BP is negative one. So? What, she's gonna die again? Zero can pump all the poison he wants into her. It's not gonna make a difference now. Besides, her bracelet's already fallen off. You... Then why did you try and stop Dio, Fi? I believe I heard you cry out, wait, as he headed toward the number nine door. Are you planning to wait for the rest of us? Did you just want to get your BP up to nine to reduce your own risk? Sorry, but no. The only reason I stopped Dio is because I needed to know what someone else voted. Someone else? But that would be... Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your... Yeah, okay. Show us the results. Yeah, we already know this one. Betray. They both ally. Oh my gosh. We've got 9 BP. I can't believe she actually picked ally. She did. Also, I'm shocked that K picked ally too. This is the only time he hasn't immediately gone cutthroat. Oh, because well, Timmy OG had would one. kill Timmy OG. That's right. Yeah. Points have been assigned. Or I was wrong! Accordingly, please check your bracelet to see. We've got 9 BP! That. No. You betrayed me, Sigma. Why? What? You betrayed me before. <laughs> what are the choices I have? To keep your promise, you jerk! You liar! You're a coward! You don't care about anybody but yourself! All you wanted was to get out of here! You're horrible! I hate you! Wait a minute. Just listen to me for a second. Whatever I did, Dio and Fi were gonna get 9 BP. The door would have been opened whether I had 9 points or not. So? All that means is that you picked Betray because you didn't want to get left behind! Yeah. Duh. No. <laughs> That's not it. How could we know if they would go get help once they escaped? I can trust Fi, but Dio is different. I didn't know what Dio might do to Fi after they went through the door. What if he turned out to be Zero Senior? So I figured that if they were going to escape anyway, I should go with them and make sure they- Is that it? Is that your 
excuse? Liar! Liar! You're just like Dio! You're a coward! <laughs> Dio's like, hey. <laughs> Whatever. Just fine. I was stupid to trust you. <laughs> Clover, I... I heard a clang and turned. See you guys next time. <laughs> Sorry, I went ahead and opened it. Gonna have plenty of time to watch soaps on the outside, so I didn't feel like I needed to stick around to see how this little drama played out. Deal, deal. All right, lady and gentlemen, shall we? Why so serious? This really isn't the time for hesitation. You both crossed the line you weren't supposed to cross. You betrayed your friends. Am I right? I'm right. But you didn't have a choice, did you? You had to survive. Isn't that the way an animal thinks, though? Don't get me wrong. I see the logic, but it's kind of animal logic. Still, you made your bed. Now you gotta lie in it. If you're gonna be an animal, be an animal. Own it. The losers, the weak, throw them away. That's how nature works, my friends. That's life at its most pure. We don't have time for this. Now come on, hurry this up. It's a long and nine seconds. I guess it's taking 18 seconds for this door to open. The number nine door. It will yeah, 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 okay. Well, stay if you want. No skin off my back. Bye. Anyway, I'm out. Peace. Wait. God damn it, Dio. Temioji leapt forward. Dio faked left, then dashed right, slipping around Temioji and through the door. Three, two, one, zero. The number nine door is closing. Run through. Let's go, Sigma. <laughs> but Shut up. Just do it. I looked at her slightly confused. But before I could respond, her hand closed around my arm like a vice, and she hauled me bodily through the open door. We made it to the other side. What? Yeah. I know, I was shocked too. We're actually getting out of there. What? Yeah, we're getting out of there. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. Sigma! Phi! Dio! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Sorry, fuck you, Temioji. Temioji's voice was muffled by the thick steel, but I could still hear his desperation and anger. I tried to ignore it. Is it an elevator? I know, right? Just get ready. There's a whole lot of stuff that's about to happen. Oh, we should have allied first, because that would have been so much shorter. Yeah, but it would have taken longer for us to get to this one. Yeah. I know, when this was happening, I was like, are we actually getting out? What the fuck? Because I didn't think we were actually going to do it. I thought somebody was going to tackle us. Or... Yeah. I'll they always stop sure. us. We're like, about to die. I think the last two times we got 9 BP, somebody prevented us from leaving. Yeah. Like, we, we betrayed Quark or something, and everybody took an issue with it. Alrighty then. Here we are. Is that a hallway? Only one way to find out. Just as five guessed, on the other side of the door was a wide hallway. Fortunately, it seemed to stop in a dead end. Took only a second to find a familiar looking door on the left side of the hallway. We opened it and stepped inside. What? Oh, this must be the prep room. I think I searched this place with Dio and Luna. 
Well, this is probably just another one that looks like it. You really think you would have been able to get to something on the other side of the number nine door? Hold up. You know about the one on floor B2? Yeah. I visited it with Temioji when we were looking for Quark. Huh. So you know that the pressure in here is a lot higher than the pressure outside? What? Oh, you didn't. What are you talking about? Didn't I just say what I'm talking about? <laughs> the air inside this facility is kept at a higher pressure than the air outside. Apparently, they're doing it to keep the virus from getting in. If you're leaving, you have to lower the pressure until it matches what's outside. This room is where you prepare for all of that. See those suits over on the wall? They keep you from getting infected once you're outside. You have to put one on before you can go into the pressure exchange chamber downstairs. How do you know all that? Luna told me. Really? Wait, why did Luna know all that? Apparently, it was all in a manual she found in a room we searched. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. Wait, go back. You said there's some kind of mysterious virus out there. Well, I wouldn't say it's mysterious. I think it's that Radical Six thing Alice was talking about. Don't quote me on that, though. That sounds bad. Well, we've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's get those suits on and head outside. No argument here. Let's do it. We climbed into the protective suits in silence, then headed down to the pressure exchange chamber. The door's not, like, welded shut. Nope. With a quiet hum, the process began. I could hear the soft hiss of air leave leaving even through my helmet. There was nothing to do until it finished, but wait. Then, out of nowhere, Dio spoke up. I never thought I'd succeed so easily. It took me a moment to realize his voice was coming from the speaker in my helmet. Apparently, the radio was designed to activate automatically. You mean getting out of here? Ah, uh, you're thinking too small. Uh, I guess I can tell you who I really am. What? You see, the thing is, I'm a hero. I was sent here from far away to save mankind. What? Too surprised to speak? Uh, Dio. I think maybe you should calm down a bit. You're all excited to be getting out of here, but... Oh, never mind. You're clearly too small-minded to understand. We were still going back and forth when the quiet hiss of an air escaping slowed. And stopped. The door at the end of the room slowly ground open. We walked through to find ourselves in a nearly identical room. After two more decompressions, the last door finally opened. I stepped outside and gasped. A dark landscape like none I'd ever seen lay spread out before me. I couldn't help but stare. What the hell? Looks like a desert. I can see that. The question is which desert? I don't know. I can't tell you what day it is, though. Huh? Look, the moon's red. See? This must be a total lunar eclipse. Oh, yeah. I remember you talking about that in the lounge. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere. But this makes it appear to be red. Essentially what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. Do you remember when the next total lunar eclipse was going to happen? Yeah, December 31st this year, so... New Year's Eve. That's what the magazine said, at least. Mm. Well, there you go. 
So today is December 31st. Wait, shit. If I got grabbed Christmas morning, then that means I've been here six days? Looks like it. We should get to the nearest town. Okay. And where would that be? There has to be one around somewhere. Even deserts have some towns. Whether they're in the Mojave, Sahara, or Gobi. It's not what I'm worried about, though. What are you worried about? Forget it. Doesn't matter right now. Oh, come on. Tell me. I'm curious now. Impossible as it might seem. I could have sworn I heard her frown. I'm worried about whether or not there are any survivors. If Alice was right about the virus. Are you saying humankind might be extinct? What the hell? No way, that's impossible. A whole species can't just die out in six days, that's- I hope it's not the case, of course, but there's the possibility. Whatever, we should get moving. There are still four people stuck in there, including Quark. We need to find help and come back for them. Okay. I turn to take a step. There was a rough crackle over the radio, and the sound of someone falling. I turned back around to see Fi on the ground. Are you watching? I am watching! Hey! You alright? What happened? I ran over and helped lift her back up. She fumbled for a second, then clambered to her feet. <laughs> That's a clamber. That is a good clamber. Where... Where are we? Her voice was low and rough. Huh? Ah, I see. Mm. This timeline. Timeline? She didn't respond. I was about to begin a more irate line of questioning when she suddenly grabbed me by the shoulders. Hey, where's Dio? Dio? Oh yeah, I haven't seen him since we got out. I'm sure he was with us when we left. Shit, we need to split up and find him. Why? Because he needs to tell me something. Why are you asking me this? What? Don't tell me you forgot. She wasn't making any sense. Damn it. Look, forget about that. Just find Dio. I'm going over to that hill. So you take the other direction. Uh, okay. But she'd already taken off without waiting for my answer. I watched her for a few moments, confused, before turning and heading off to look for Dio myself. Damn. Don't see him anywhere. Where the hell did that guy go? I was looking around, trying to decide where to go next when I heard them. The signal must have degraded, but I could still make out a few words. What the hell are you doing? Can't see Dio. The voices were cutting in and out, but I'd heard that last word clear as day. Dio. It sounded like Fi had found him. Spun around and took off in her direction. Is that a transmitter? Transmitter? Let's see. Phone home, huh? -uh. Bad free souls anxious from you. How do you know? <laughs> I know everything about you. Know oh, you the Hermadons. The transmission was getting clearer. I had to be getting closer. Never mind that. Password for the number zero. Number zero? The hell are you, man? I'm no man. How the hell can you crack jokes right now? You haven't given me my answer. What's the deactivation code? Hey, what are you. Stop! Shit! That didn't sound good. I sped up and quickly crested the hill in front of me. There they were. Stop! 
I went down the hill as fast as I could, half running, half sliding. With the suits on, I couldn't tell who was who, but I had to stop them. <laughs> I clambered to my feet, slightly winded from my ordeal. The suited figure I'd slammed against lay on the ground, next to the other one. I moved over to peer through the visor. Dio. His eyes were closed, almost like he was just sleeping. My tackle must have knocked him out. Thanks. That was a close one. No sweat. What's this transmitter you were talking about? You heard, huh? Yeah. Well, it's right over there. See that briefcase looking thing? He was trying to use that to get in touch with somebody. Where the hell did he get it? Probably had it hidden somewhere. Wait, hidden? Are you saying Dio's been here before? Yeah, probably. My guess is he came here, hit the transmitter, and then snuck into the building. Snuck in? I wasn't quite sure what to make of that, so I decided to take a closer look at the transmitter. There was a screen on the upper part with a bunch of numbers that looked, well, like nothing. What the heck is this? 7815361098 Is that some kind of phone number? No, it's too long for that. It's 25 digits. What is it then? I don't know. I assume it's some kind of code, but I don't see a key to decode it with. I heard a crackling noise in my helmet. It took me a moment to realize it was a voice. Dio's voice. <laughs> What's so funny? None of what he was saying made any sense to me. Dio, what's going on here? Who are you trying to call with this thing? What, you don't know? At least one of you is appropriately ignorant. Fine, whatever. Might as well tell you. I don't really have any reason to hide my identity now that my mission's a success. Besides, she'll probably tell you if I don't. Might as well hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Dio shifted to put his hands behind his head, but didn't bother to get up. I belong to an organization called the Myrmidons. That was on the knife. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The knife. So it's probably his knife then. Yeah. You probably never heard of it. But there might be a few people out there who've heard of Free the Soul. If you haven't, well, it's a sacred religious order with over a million true believers. The Myrmidons are the hand of Free the Soul. They do what needs to be done to bring us closer to the new world Free the Soul promises. There are some people who might call us terrorists. And again, from their point of view, I suppose we might be. We're trying to tear down the corrupt world they've built, after all. But when the sun dawns for the first time on our new world, we'll be hailed as saints, holy messengers who cleanse the filth from a dying planet. Well, God. only a handful of people will really become saints. Not even all the Myrmidons will be guaranteed sainthood. First, you have to be raised with the teachings of Free the Soul from birth. Then, you have to be chosen to join the ranks of the elite and achieve great things. Returning from this mission would secure my position. Free the Soul is built around the teachings of a man named Brother, who founded our order many years ago. His teachings are too profound for ordinary people to understand, but you could say that the core idea of his doctrine are to separate oneself from worldliness 
destroy greed, and to divorce the soul from the body to cleanse it. Those who follow his teaching with discipline and devotion will be reborn as a new form of human. Only this new species will be able to live in equality, in a world without war or starvation. Brother was born into a poor family. I've been told he didn't know his father, and that he lost his mother at a young age. The only family he had was his younger brother, a boy named Left. The same brother had a special power, and he was able to touch the thoughts of other people and see into them. It left him constantly exposed to the filthy greed of mankind. When brother was 16, Left was found dead. His body was covered in bruises, but the police only made a cursory investigation and quickly ruled a death, his death a suicide. Later, Brother would find out that the killer had paid the police a massive bribe to keep the truth hidden. He burned with rage, but also found himself immersed in cold despair. Eventually, he received a divine revelation. Mankind was thoroughly corrupted by greed. It had to be purified, and a new world created. God had given Brother his mission. That was when he began to teach others the truth. And at the age of 26, he started to free the soul. Once Free the Soul was established, he devoted his resources to research on human cloning so that he could create the new species he foretold. He abducted, I mean, he invited to assist him a team of scientists from a research facility in the United States. And a year later, the first ten new humans were born. Those ten were the first generation of Myrmidons. Incidentally, I'm from the fourth generation. Our DNA comes from Left, brother's younger brother. That means that we all share a face. And we are all given the same name, Left. Some people think that's weird, but individuality seems much weirder to me. If everyone looks the same, there's no such thing as race or even individuality. With cloning, you don't need different genders. How could you get more equal than that? Still, there's a little random deviation and other factors that can influence a clone's development. I was the best of my generation, so I was chosen to lead the Myrmidons. I was probably sent here because Brother noticed the caliber of my skills. My mission was to infiltrate this facility. When I was given my orders, I thought this was going to be my chance. In all my life, I've only ever been punished for breaking laws. Our laws. It had to do with women. I had come in contact with someone unclean and I was considered corrupted. Uh oh. Even if I was punished harshly and purified my soul, my d dishonor remained. I wanted to prove my loyalty to Brother, so I was determined to be successful on his mission, no matter what. My entire purpose is to be part of the foundation of Brother's new world. Now that I've fulfilled that purpose, for the first time in my life, I understand what true happiness is. His voice had taken on an almost reverent tone, and as he finished speaking, he made some sort of odd sign over his chest. Fi shoved his hands away. I don't care about your goddamn mission. You did this to us. Now we're going to... to... She grabbed the rock he'd held over her only minutes ago, and lifted over her head. Uh, Fi! Where are you- Shut up! You still haven't answered my question. I'm going to ask you one more time. What is the password for the number zero bomb? Bomb? God damn it! Didn't I tell you to shut up? Now, tell me. What's the password? She swung the rock down toward Dio's head. Wait! Okay, okay. Fine. It's not gonna do you any good, though. I completed my mission. What are you gonna do with a password at this point? Not your problem. Just give it to me. Otherwise... Fine. No skin off my back. The password for the Zero Bomb is... 
LXA QNS GDQ. And we're going to write that down. Now remember, we also had another password for another bomb that we got way earlier. Okay. Phi tossed the rock off to the side. You heard that, right, Sigma? Huh? The password. I'm going to try my best to remember it, but I won't know if I manage to until after I make the jump. There's a chance I won't remember anything. So you need to memorize it. Just in case. Got it? I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about, but I was beginning to understand that it was probably pretty important. <laughs> With that in mind, I repeated the strange series of letters over and over in my head, doing my best to memorize them. LXA, QNS, GDQ. LXA, QNS, GDQ. Okay. We're done with you. Let's go. Go where? I'm not sure, but I think he does. Get up. Bye, grabbed Dio's arm and hauled him to his feet. He jerked his arm away petulantly and began to walk. Is there a city near here? Yeah. Well, not really a city, I guess. More like a shelter. Some people who survived the disaster live there. Disaster? What, what disaster? Just shut up and follow me. You can see for yourself. I looked up. It must have been a clear night because... There were more stars than I had ever seen before. I thought I could even see the band of the Milky Way. And in the middle of that field of stars shone the full moon. Shone. A giant red orb looming in the, middle, the center of the sky. I had always been so big. It almost looked like they were on the moon. Yeah. So it just ends there? But what about the shelter? You'll find out more later. No, that's not what you want to hear right now. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. So that was the Dio ending. Oh my god. So he's a clone. He's a clone. Okay, so it's really He's possible a that fourth generation of clones That's of crazy. left brother's brother. Ugh. Why is he called brother? I don't care. Um I had some theories about that. Okay. But so I had a I had a theory that I want to talk about the when we're finished with the game after this part that yeah. turned out not to be true. Oh, and you're disappointed? Yeah. Because when he said he said that stuff about sharing the same face, I was like, I really latched onto that. Yeah. And I, you know, wrote it. <laughs> yeah. So Brother that knife is left. his. The knife that yes. says Myrmidons. So he definitely killed the old lady. He definitely killed the old lady. And it would seem if his knife is the one in Alice, he also killed Alice, despite him saying he didn't. Right. Which it makes sense for him to lie. I know earlier I was saying, like, what would he gain from lying? But it would keep everyone chill and in question. And it would keep them from being, like, attacking him and incarcerating him and all of that. Right. So it still makes sense for him to lie. Yeah. He only meant that because it was, like, irrefutable evidence that he killed him. Right. Yeah. But yeah, he says he says he's a hero there to save mankind. But then again, he's part of an evil cult organization who wants to cleanse the world of filth. So. Right. So, killing the old woman, I'm assuming, is his mission, and that's how he's saving mankind. Well, he also had a transmitter. But it seems like he wasn't using the transmitter while he was in the building. No. 
He buried it outside so that when he won the game, he could use it. That's why he was so desperate to win the game, I guess. Right. So. Yeah. But what would he be transmitting? Like, their location? Which it seems like they would already know. I don't know. There was a code on screen. Hmm. They wind. All right, we're finally getting to see some of the portraits. I know, this is exciting. So now we have Luna, Alice, Fi, Quark, and Dust. Here, I'll go ahead and this one's Luna, this one's Quark, and then we got Alice, uh, Fi. Fi, and Sigma. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <gasps> So, okay. Um, so we need to talk about what we're going to do next video real quick because I'll just tell you right now, we don't have to go back and see what happens when we pick Ally. Because it's just... It's just like, Clover picks Ally, we gain two points, fine, deal, leave. Yeah. And that's it. And those, okay, those endings are kind of like We've already seen awful. that before. It's the end with the skull. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going to be one of these again. So, game over, Dio. Yeah, game over. It'll be it'll say Dio game over, yeah. 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 But uh yeah, so maybe next video like we can't get any further on this branch right now. Okay. Um cuz we only know one of the passwords, the one that Kay told us mm -hmm. here. Key to gate 2. I'm glad that right. tells you this on the flow chart. Um so we need another one. Right. So and we can't go any further on that other one with the Book and the question mark? No, we cannot. What do we need for that? Uh, it, it doesn't tell you. Lock number we three need, is what it said. I, it's not the neostigmine thing, because that's this. Mm -hmm. How can find KB safe? Lock number one. Um, so I, I, I can't remember what we need there. I think we need something in Alice's branch to okay. get in there. Well, I was going to uh, say... So we'll be going back here. We'll be going all the way back to the beginning. And Alice's branch time. Alice's branch is very different from Luna's. Very mm -hmm. different from Timioji's. Like the same kind of stuff happens in the beginning, like through through this line here. This is where things really start to deviate a lot. Right. In all the branches. So that makes sense. Yeah. I mean. So that's what we'll be doing on Wednesday. Oh my god. I'm so yeah. excited. What did you think about this episode? I wasn't expecting him to be a clone and to be part of a weird cult. He did say that he was part of an organization that sent him there on a mission. Yeah. But yeah. But honestly, I thought he was just lying. Yeah. <laughs> he was just trying to be annoying because he's like, oh, they're from a, you know, they're from a secret organization. Yeah. So am I. <laughs> yeah. Kind of figured he's more like that. Free the soul, though. It's Free interesting. The soul. Now there's there there are some things just now that if you pay real close attention, you can make some connections already. Really? Yes. <gasps> oh, yes. No. I'd be surprised if anyone did, but um I am not paying super close attention. No, like it's it's stuff like back to nine 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 type of stuff. All right, well, we'll see you guys on Wednesday. We'll start a new branch. Pay close attention. Okay, stop it. <laughs> we'll see you guys then. Think critically.